Brett, this next one is for you. Can you talk about the importance of ESG? And for those not familiar with the acronym, ESG stands for Environmental, Social, and Governance um, to the Hedera ecosystem. And perhaps um, share some examples of some ESG projects on Hedera and uh, differentiators that are pulling projects to build on Hedera if they are ESG focused. Sure, let me, um, if I forget any component of that question, please remind me. Um, so uh, right up front, I'd say, you know, from my perspective, you know, people, I'm gonna assume some level of familiarity with what we've published and written about. So um, you've probably seen a fair number of, you know, podcasts and blog posts and case studies around the ESG space. But just to remind, remind you, here are some projects. Uh, we have our Guardian open source project, which we are uh, committing a fair amount of resources building out. So what that does is really provides standards based, you know, using uh, verifiable credentials and uh, decentralized identifier standards. So it's, and as well as the um, token taxonomy framework standards that we were a part of uh, leading. So it's standards based um, application kind of glue code, if you will, uh, functionality on top of the Hedera network for end-to-end -end life cycle track and trace of your carbon credits, your renewable energy cre credits. So that functionality is a differentiator um, for sure, uh, being so tightly tied to Hedera. Another um, project that we have, uh, well, we have a number of companies that are contributing to that project. Um, so uh, we've got um, Envision and Miko uh, contributing to that project. And most of our um, kind of ESG case studies are in some way taking advantage of the Guardian capability. But before, even before someone discovers the Guardian capabilities of Hedera, they're, they're being attracted to us because of you know, reports like the UCL report published by the IEEE um, that identifies us as kind of the greenest or most sustainable in terms of low energy you know, per transaction. And they came up with a great energy per transaction model is the first time an academic study was done that did that level of analysis. And so that is, a, is an attraction as well, because we've got this carbon, you know, neutral to negative uh, network that people, you know, would love to build their ESG solution on. Um, as, and of course, all the other reasons anyone else wants to build on Hedera, you know, it's less expensive, fair ordering, um, high speed and, and bandwidth. So, the, we, and we've got people building on Hedera like Dovu with the marketplaces, uh, Cripsy, uh, building a platform for people to build their own solutions in the space. Miko contributing kind of the UI around the Guardian and giving a visual a visualization to those that are doing track and trace for their, their tokens and their credits. Um, Civic Ledger is doing great work around uh, life cycle management of the tokenization of water rights and water consumption. So essentially you can see the pattern playing out. It's tokenization of fill in the blank and then a track and trace functionality full life cycle, auditable, uh, extremely affordable um, and immutable. So that's what's attracting, you know, and so that's kind of a reminder of what we've already been doing. Uh, some things that people might not know that I wanna get into. So we're global innovator members of the World Economic Forum. And if you're familiar at all with the World Economic Forum and their kind of their role in the global economy, uh, they really are leading ESG. In a lot of ways, they are at the tip of the spear for ESG. So the partnership we have there and the relationships that we've developed there, I think are going to be important for Hedera overall in this space. And then looking inward at the council, um, the corporate utilization committee, which is really focused on use cases. There are other use cases we talk about, but ESG on DLT is the primary use case that people wanna talk about. It's the one use case that everyone on that council can see themselves participating in. Um, and it, it really is the kind of the first one that's getting a lot of cross council collaboration. Um, and, you know, Toco is one of the companies leading in this space, uh, working with other council members like ServiceNow. Um, Avery Dennison is another leader in this space, building these capabilities for people to, you know, track their carbon footprint and then do something about it. Tokenize offsets and, and report that, be compliant with that. And I could go on and on. We could do a whole hour just on ESG, but I can't, I don't think I can overstate the importance of ESG um, with Hedera. We really think it's one of the uh, killer apps of a public ledger, and we're very well positioned uh, to be the preferred platform for that app. 
Thanks, Brett. And I think it is incredible to see, you know, everyone from startups who have really, you know, focused on a key area to um, council members who are thinking about this across their business. As you mentioned, um, we have a number of Gossip About Gossip podcasts on this topic. Um, so if you're not tired of me after the top of the hour, I would encourage you to go watch some of those because those projects are doing amazing things.